My name is Mar Fikes Jr. We're here at Concordia University in Ann Arbor, the place where I coach and play basketball as a collegiate athlete, and this is meticulous basketball. So we're going to work on is the triple threat uh, training. We're going to give you some techniques and some uh, concepts to help you make your triple threat situations a little bit more productive. The first thing we're talking about the triple threat is you got to figure out where your range is. If you're a 17, 15 foot uh, shooter, then that's where you want to uh, attack from. If you are attacking from 19 feet and you're out of your range, it's going to be hard for you to make your triple threat as effective as it can be because most defenders will be playing off of you. So when you're running your offense, you want to try to put, your, put yourself in position to catch the basketball where you can catch, square up, and shoot from. And you'll see why that's important uh, in this next section. Now, when I played basketball, I was a slasher. And if there's any place on the floor that I was most effective in terms of shooting the basketball, it would be from 15 to 17 feet, OK? So when I catch the basketball, when I'm playing basketball, I want to catch it somewhere around here, around this area, so that I'm able to pivot, catch, and be a threat on the shot. If I'm catching the basketball higher and the defender's playing off of me, I'm basically a passer, or maybe I can drive and, and, and draw two. But if I want to be a scorer and, and really put pressure on my initial defender, I got to catch the basketball where I'm effective. Okay? Here with me, I have Tyler Smith. He's one of our incoming freshmen from New Haven, Michigan. And so he's going to help me uh, as, a, as a defender to demonstrate these concepts and ideas. So the first thing I want to do when I catch the basketball is I want to protect and get the basketball somewhere uh, chest level so that the defender can't reach for it. Now, when I pivot, I want to have that ball body defender rela uh, relation, okay? Ball's over here, body's here, and the defender's uh, on the opposite side. I always want to keep that relationship because it's going to help me set up my sweep move when I decide to attack, okay? Sometimes defenders want to put the ball out in front on their right side. Well, you make yourself susceptible to possibly getting the basketball uh, blocked or even disrupting your shot. So make sure that you want to protect the ball or hide it on the opposite side. That's the first thing. The second thing is I want to make sure that I get my foot outside of his lead foot. Okay? So when I pivot, it, the first thing I want to do is get this foot right here. When I get my foot right here, I'm going to create two reads. Either he's going to stay still and I'm going to go past him or he's going to move his foot back. If he moves his foot back, that just creates enough space for me to either examine the floor or rise up for my jump shot. Again, that's why you want to put yourself in a position where you can catch, pivot, and shoot so that you're a threat as soon as you pivot and uh, square up to the basket. So now that I've pivoted into my defender, we're going to talk about three things. The sweep, the hand, and the gate. Okay, now these aren't formal terms or anything, but these are terms that you kind of want to address every time you attack your defender in a triple threat situation. The first thing I want to work on is the sweep. I want to make sure that my hands are on the basketball in such a way that when I make my movement sweep, I can go right into my shot. You don't want to have your hands on the basketball that will allow you to sweep, but then when it's time for you to get your shot, you have to adjust. You want to go from the sweep to a shot in one smooth sequence without any adjustments. That's the first thing. The second thing is, if his hand is out, I want to attack this hand because I don't want to have to play around this hand. I want to negate this hand so that I can move straight through him. Okay? So, two things are going to happen. If the defender has his hands on me, I want to jab and get that hand off and kind of get him off balance, get him unstable so hopefully I can take advantage of uh, his lack of balance. If his hand, if he's a stronger defender, maybe a craftier defender, then I'm going to make my move sweeping, but then I want to get this hand, my left hand, high so that as I go past him, I'm negating the defensive stance or the, or the steal and making my move past the defender. Very, very important. You will come across a lot of defenders where you may not need to use any of these moves, but if you come across a good defender who's long, who's strong, who's got great lateral movement, then you're going to need to use a few extra tools to help you create space on your defender. So, let's review. I want to catch the basketball. I want to go with a hard sweep. If that's not available, I want to make sure I sweep and get this hand 
knocked down so I can go past my defender. This last thing is, we want to open up the gate. Here's this gate right here. The gate is right here, and I want to get my shoulder to open up this gate because that's going to help me determine whether or not I have a drive to the basket or maybe a step back move. So when I sweep, I'm going right here, opening up this gate. If I open up the gate, I can either go to the basket or, let's go again, if I make my move and he, let's say, opens up but he recovers, then I can hit him with a side step move to create separation, whether it's a side step move or it's a step back move. So the things that we want to look for when we should operate a triple threat, pivot, open up with a jab. See if you can get him to respond. If his foot goes back, we go to our shot. If I jab, he doesn't move, I want to get this hand down, open up the gate, and then from there, determine what's available. Lay up, jump shot, step back, so on and so forth. Relax. One last read. When I pivot, I want to start my moves off like I've been starting all my moves off, okay? Attacking that outside foot, getting my foot outside here. Remember, good defender should try to uh, open up and take this away. And this is what we're going to work on that crossover stuff. So if I go with this move and he steps, now he's trying to take that right side away from me. Maybe I've done a really good job attacking the right side, so he's taking away from me. So now his body is now moving to the right side, which gives me an opportunity to now attack the uh, left side with a crossover step. So once I make that move, now I want to get outside of this foot like I have been, and I want to play the angles. A lot of guys, when they do this move, they'll jab and then make this roundabout action, which allows him to drop step and beat me to the spot. He may not block my shot, he may not steal a basketball, but he may disrupt my shot. I don't want my shot to be disrupted at all, and I want to maintain contact so that if I need to create separation, I have a body to create contact with. So let's go through in slow motion. First pivot, jab, I'm attacking this angle right here with the crossover step. Not a crossover dribble, crossover step. Again, if the defender tries to hold, tries to hold me, slow me down with his arm, I'm negating that, that hand action and I'm looking at those two basket. Same things apply. If he stays still, I go for a score. If he tries to recover, if he tries to recover, try to recover, Give him a little hand action or maybe a little shoulder action. Maybe we want to try to get the shoulder into those numbers. And I should be able to step back and knock this shot down. Done. Quick review. When you're in the triple threat, make sure that you attack spots on the floor where you can catch, pivot, and shoot from effectively. The next thing, make sure that when you pivot, you always protect the basketball, keeping that relationship. Body, um, ball, body, defender. Once you pivot, always attack the outside foot, okay? Attacking the outside foot makes the defender make two reads. Either they're gonna stand still, you blow past them, okay? Always creating contact. Or if they step back with that foot, you should be in position to catch the basketball, to, to, to keep the basketball close to your body, rise up for your shot, and shoot an effective 15, 17 foot, or wherever your range is, okay? If you wanna learn more, shoot me an email, give me a call, meticulous basketball, Mark Fox Jr.